Hi everyone, it's Dr. Stephanie Wu from the Contact Lens Institute of Nevada, and I've been getting a lot of questions on what is the best solution I can use to fill the bowl of my scleral lens. So I'm just going to talk about a few options and some of the differences. The very first option, you may have seen these. These are the little pink vials that your doctor can write a prescription for. This is something, it's just sodium chloride inhalation solution. It's very easy to purchase from the pharmacy. You can also find these on Amazon under the name Adipack. It's not exactly the same as the ones that you would get from the pharmacy, but if you're in a pinch or you've run out of solution or you can't afford some of the other options, that would be a good option. Now, the reason I always give a prescription for these is that a lot of patients can use this to get through their insurance benefits. So when they take the prescription to the pharmacy, sometimes purchasing these is completely covered or for a very low cost. Another reason I like these is because they're smaller. These are only three milliliter vials. It really, you're not wasting a lot, so you're just putting it into the bowl of the scleral lens and not having to waste a ton of liquid. Another option that's also similar in size is something called Vibrant View. This is something that uh, recently came out. It's from a company called Visionary Optics. They manufacture scleral lenses and a lot of accessories. Again, this is non-preserved saline, three milliliter vial, easy to travel with, and less waste. Another option is something called Lacropure. This is something that you can get either from your eye doctor or a lot of online stores carry this. You can find it on a lot of eye doctor websites. I have seen it also on Amazon. So Lacropure is another uh, non-preserved saline and this is made by a company called Menicon. This one is a little bit bigger so you can see it's five milliliters instead of three. So you are getting a little bit more liquid compared to some of the other products. A lot of patients do like it, especially when they are first starting to wear scleral lenses because they're not having to fill the bowl of the lens and then have to open up another one if they can't get the lens in their eye. It gives you a few more pores, if you will, when you're first starting out with scleral lenses. So something that provides a little bit more liquid can sometimes, it can oftentimes be better. Another option is something called scleral fill. Now, this one is 10 milliliters. This is very large vial for patients. A lot of patients like this one. It's made by Bausch & Lom. It's pretty easy to access. I, I've definitely seen it on Amazon before and other online vendors. It's easily accessible. But if you're somebody that has a very large scleral lens and you require more liquid to fill the bowl, that can be really helpful. If you're just starting and learning with scleral lenses and you're constantly having to refill the bowl, put the lens in, take it out, refill the bowl, put it in, this could be a better option so you're, so you're not having to open so many vials. And then lastly, this is something called Nutrafil. Nutrafil is one of my favorite options for non-preserved saline because it has electrolytes that are added. This is the only solution out of the ones I just showed you that actually have electrolytes that are added to the saline solution. So a lot of times patients that have really bad dry eye or they have fogging with their lenses, and some of these other issues, it can really, really help them. So this has become one of my most recommended scleral lens filling solutions because they have those added electrolytes. It's also 10 milliliters, so it's very large, so you can rinse your lenses, you can fill the bowl and not have to worry about running out. So those are five different ones that I have in my office that I give out to patients all the time. Every patient's different, every patient's medical condition might be different and financial situation is different, so I kind of make recommendations based off of that, just depending on ease of access for some of these products. So I hope that was helpful. Hope to see you next time.